Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video we'll see how to resize all charts in an Excel sheet using VBA macros. As you see I have here several charts and they have different sizes and I want to resize them all with the same size to put them in a presentation. So let's go to the Visual Basic Editor and insert a new module and we will have here resize charts and the first thing we'll do is to declare a, an object variable which is going to be all chart as a chart object and there are two different types of charts in Excel um, let me let me show you that so we could have a chart in a in a sheet so if we if we go here and and, um, and say insert chart and we can also do that with VBA, of course. This um, this is a chart object, so it, it's simply called as chart. Um, however, these charts here, these are embedded charts in a particular worksheet, and these are chart object objects. So we are declaring our variable as a chart object. If we would want to work with this chart here then we would declare it as a chart only okay so that's the difference between a chart and chart object now we're going to have two other variables chart top as an integer and chart left as an integer and these are going to have the position of each chart the top and left position of each chart so now, if in the active sheet dot um, chart objects, and again, chart objects, not charts, because we are looking at the embedded charts in the active sheet, and the count is greater than zero, then, so if we have some embedded charts there, then we're going to start a loop, so for each O chart, and this is the chart object variable we just declare in the active sheet chart objects. So we're going to set the width and the height of the chart. So we're going to resize. Uh, so that would be O chart dot width. And let's say we can have uh, 400 and then O chart dot um, height, let's say we put 250, and then we're going to have the position. So the top position, we can set it to zero, and then O chart dot left zero. So that would start at the top left corner of the worksheet. However, if we leave it like this, every chart would take the same position and we would just see the last one. So that's why we have to use these two variables here, chart top, so I'm gonna put here chart top and I'm gonna put here chart left and chart top and chart left, uh, before starting the loop, we're gonna initialize them equals to zero here and chart left is going to be zero as well. So when we start the loop, the first chart is going to be placed at zero, top zero and left zero. But then we're going to say chart top equals chart top plus, let's say, um, 50. And then the chart left is going to be chart left plus, for example, 100. So every chart is going to be placed in in a, in a certain position relative to the previous chart. Okay, and then we move to the next O chart and we can end the if statement here. And that's it. Let's play it and see how that works. So as you see here, all charts have now the same size and we can just change the size as needed. Um, in this case, it was 400 times 250 and they are positioned a relative distance from the top and from the left relative to the previous chart. So um, it gives uh, a, this kind of cascade effect. So 
That's how we resize charts in an Excel sheet using VBA macros. Thanks for watching.